Cool, man. Um, so thanks for uh, doing the call with me. Um, basically, uh, just wanted to ask you a bit about your progress uh, throughout uh, the past few weeks that we've been working together, because obviously mm-hmm. I've seen the bottle that you created and that like look really professional from a modeling point of view, materials, lighting, um, very, very detailed, um, and that really look really good. So I just wanted to basically ask you a bunch of questions about that. So yeah, I guess my first question would be, um, before you started working with me, uh, where were you? Because I remember uh, there is that bottle of the, that, that green bottle that you showed me when you started. Um, that's kind of what your work looked like. Um, but like, where do you think like your struggles were or things that um, you felt like might have uh, kind of hindered you for a long time which is the things that you wanted to kind of get fixed yeah i mean i think for me my thing was the well knowing the tool set you know i'm in after effects every day and i know the program at the back of my hand but when i come to um cinema or anything in a 3d context just didn't know where to start you know it was like that take that bottle that uh, you're referring to there i think it took me maybe 80% 80% of the time, 90% of the time in Google, in looking for tutorials, trying to find out, okay, so where do you begin? How do you start to model? How do you texture? How do you, basically everything from beginning to end, you know, it just took absolutely forever. And the end result wasn't, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's all right, but it's not at a level where it should be. Um, so yeah, that, that's, 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 that's where I was frustrated spending a lot of time <laughs> digging through Google. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Sweet. And then like, what's, uh, what's like, what was the final decision that made you decide like uh, to sign up with me or even decide that you would uh, need some sort of uh, teaching or coaching of any sort? I think it was probably actually doing that bowl, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. You did a, a tutorial for a, for a wine bottle. And yeah. there was, you know, it was real, real simple to follow beginning to end. You need to do this, this, this. Um, you explain things really clear, concise, and it makes sense. You know, there's no, you know, when you go digging around in Google trying to find answers for stuff, you find yourself down a rabbit hole of all sorts of nonsense. But you explain things really clear. And I saw the course that you you put up, but I, do you know what? Your tutorials are on point, so the course I'm, I'm sure is going to be great. And yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's been perfect. It's been really good. Learn learn a lot in a real short space of time. Interesting. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting when you, whenever you mention those points, like it, I kind of looming as a light bulb in my head because it's the stuff I go through as well. It's just like with 3D, is like so many things that you need to learn. And it's basically uh, not only knowing like what tools and stuff, but you just don't know what you don't know. You know, it's like you don't know uh, what you should be doing with it when it comes to texturing and applying UV maps and uh doing like materials and stuff like that and it's not just like what buttons to press it's like you don't even know what you should necessarily be learning which is what kind of i think causes that whole google rabbit hole like you start googling like how do you do this and then someone gives an answer and you're like oh i don't even know what that is and then you google how do you do that and you spend so much time just trying to figure things out you know um yeah that's it that's it i suppose like now the, the the tool set that you use like but I guess for every 3D artist does that you have like a handful that you go to and you know that that is going to do that job, that is going to do that job, that's going to do that. Once you have all of that knowledge, you know, you just apply that to anything and it's it's actually fun <laughs> as opposed to frustrating, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like it's, 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 it's nice. Yeah. Interesting. Cool. So, yeah, you produced really, uh, you produced like really, really good work really fast, like uh, just did like five calls with me and you went from, the green bottle that you made to producing something that looks like a studio created it, like really, really high quality, high detail. Um, I'm sure like any, any like average person, if they looked at it, like they would be shocked if you said that was like a 3d render, you know? Um, Amazing. <laughs> so I'm just wondering, uh, because like a lot of people, it'll often take uh, probably two years minimum <laughs> before they even get to that stage. Um, so I'm wondering like what kind of, what, firstly, like what were the challenges that you might have faced? Like, um, was there anything in specific where you were like, uh, that kept on popping up that maybe, uh, 
got you frustrated or got you annoyed or anything like that? Um, yeah, I guess it would have to be the, um, you know, like a texturing and this kind of with, uh, with, with Octane to begin with. Um, yeah. yeah, it's, it's now looking back, it's quite, quite a simple thing. You know, it's using your, your PSDs, masking things out, getting your, your, um, your mixed materials, the, the hierarchy correct and make sure everything's set correctly like that to begin with, because it's a whole different like workflow than what I'm used to. I mean, yeah. like, nodes like with, with Nuke, okay, I'm happy in the nodes world, but in this context was something completely, completely new. And yeah, that, that was a, a steep learning curve. But again, it's one of these things, once you, once you know how, how the program works and how the, you know, piping this into that, piping this into that, once you know how that structure fits in place, is it's, it's quite simple. <laughs> uh, it's, it's yeah. really nice it's really nice once you once you get it it's like man, i think my neighbors heard the penny drop when it all, <laughs> when it all came together it's like oh that's how you yeah do it. okay perfect you know but yeah i think that was that was the the main one um i think well the the modeling is that's now really fun really fun mm-hmm. um that that green bottle i did to begin with I got so frustrated, I ended up digging around through Turbo Squid to find something that was similar and trying to bend it into a way that was reflective of what the product was. Um, but yeah, really, really simple to, to model the shape of what you're looking for. And mm. yeah, that was frustrating to begin with. But now once you know the process, it's, yeah, it's a pleasure. It's fun. Yeah, it's funny how that is. Uh, I kind of view that with like, creating commercials in general. I'm like, how do people still struggle with this? You know, it's so simple. You just like, you do this stage, you go to that stage, you go to that stage. But like, if you don't know uh, the the steps to go through, you just kind of view it as like this big thing, especially even if you just took texturing, there's like so many different tools and so many different ways. And just like with projection mapping, there's like five different ways you can do that alone. And like, it just seems like this overwhelming thing. But it's mm. really like <laughs> once you understand how it works, it's so simple. And the same applies to sure. materials, the rendering as well. Like people can get really overwhelmed with what settings you use. But then once you understand it, it's like, oh, it's actually quite simple. And then you just use the same thing mm. every single time and it works, you know? That's it. Um, That's it. And he's <laughs> actually getting told how to do it, you know, because yeah. you can dig all, all, all your life through YouTube and whatever else, but there's not a set process that you you will then do for the next project or then for the next project. You'll start another project and go, wait, hang on a sec, where was that tutorial that I found that took me for stage one? And mm-hmm. then you're digging back to try and find that again. And then where was that to stage two, as opposed to have a start to finish, you do yeah. this process and you end up here and just commit that to muscle memory almost. You're like You just know what you need to do, mm-hmm. um, which is lovely, which is fun. <laughs> interesting cool like i know like the obviously like the whole modeling the modeling formula and stuff uh, helps you quite a little bit with actually like creating the model but like which uh area do you think like was like a big like light bulb for you where uh you're like wow like that actually saved me a lot of time or like wow that was actually like a big shift that made a, a big result for you uh, I think it, it's. I think it's the when it comes to lighting, and once you got your textures right, and you're starting to light the thing, it it just pops all of a sudden. You know, you're <laughs> yeah. looking at this this grey object and piping stuff in, but as soon as you load up Octane and you've got your your lights in the way that you want, and it, you, you're looking at this final result, you're like, ah, uh, okay, now you really get your teeth into it, and you can start to really play with it and try and get the lights to reflect what the reference is and. Mm. Um, yeah, that was a, a, a nice moment. Interesting. And cool. Really fun. Cool. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, mm. like I personally, like I feel like a big shift for you was the texturing part, like the UV mapping. I know that's something that you struggled with a little bit, like um, not necessarily UV mapping in general, but just like not just placing the labels on the product, but placing them in the right way so that it doesn't show on the backside. And there was a lot of like little technical things that was kind of like getting in the way. And then also like the materials, like uh, just having that like layered hierarchy of things where for a beginner, um, it's just easy for you to like go in Photoshop, you change some things, you save it and you know inside of Cinema 4D and Octane, it's just going to update. You know, you don't need to know anything too complex. Um, And you have like individual sliders. If you want a certain part to be gold, you can just slide a slider and you can make it gold, you know. 
And then it, once you had that, it's like you can add so much like little details. Like I know in the bottle, there's like these little engravings and all sorts of stuff. And uh, you don't need to spend like 10 hours like modeling all of that out, <laughs> which is uh, yeah, obviously yeah. nice. Um, yeah, that, that, that was nice. When I remember we had one of our early calls and I was looking yeah. at it. I think it was the gin, the gin bottle was one of, the, one of the examples. And I was like, all this lettering that you've got going on here, have you had to like... Yeah. type it out, extrude it, try and wrap it round, smooth it out. And it's like, yeah. oh no, have you heard of something called displacement maps? It's like, <laughs> I have. But then to use it like in the context of Photoshop, you know, you can really like manipulate in Photoshop and then just refresh. And it's it's, yeah. it's there, you know, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Like it's uh like it's really exciting to uh chat to you because it's just cool to see like you can you're another example that you can learn the stuff really, really quickly. You know, just like five calls and then you go from like where you were to where you're at. And anyone else, they might look at your work and be like, Bro, you're a professional, you know? You might not you might not feel like that. You might feel like, Oh, like I've got a long way to go, but anyone will look at you, they'll think that you're working in some big studio that especially that you produce that image on your own you know it's not like you did the modeling part and then the whole team did the rest it's like you were able to do that all on your own uh really quickly yeah. which is uh pretty cool yeah oh it's great it's not a big studio it's me it's <laughs> not me sitting down here you know <laughs> yeah um, no it's, it's 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 just it's fun it's really good fun and these one-to-one -one, um um tuition it's it's super handy, you know, because you get to a point you like, for, for instance, like I, I built, I made the bottle, add the label, I got to a point where it's like, mm, I'm not sure where, where to go, which is where the next lesson comes in and mm. send it to yourself. You open up the project and it's like, oh yeah, this is good. Improve this, tweak that. But I'll tell you what, hold my beer, watch this. And you just <laughs> rip it apart and think like this thing look amazing. But the good yeah. thing is the call's recorded. So the next yeah. time it's like, okay, now I, I see what I'm missing. I see what I need to improve on. And I know how to do it because I've got the recording here. So mm. one one monitor has got the um, the recording on and then just follow along and then repeat, repeat, repeat. And it sticks. <laughs> mm. Yeah. And the cool thing is like, um, once you like learn these fundamentals, as you said, it's like once you know like, oh, this is how you do the materials and this is how you do the texturing. It's like you can apply this on, all your future projects whether you're doing a shoe or a laptop or something completely to, like different even if it's not products it's like the fundamentals uh, still apply of how you do the lighting and the modeling and all that stuff which is uh yeah i think that's super valuable to learn um and like, like how were you feeling when i said like oh you should go and create that bottle like was that something that was uh <laughs> intimidating uh, for you <laughs> i think it was a little bit daunting it was yeah. a little bit daunting um yeah. You know, there was just so much going on with it. You know, the, the previous ones were just basic shapes, forms, basic stuff. And it's like, right, okay, have a, have a go with this one. Uh, okay, I get the principles of how to get to that point, but to apply it in something that, you know, there's a lot a lot, go, a lot going on with it. Well, for, for me anyway, as a, like, from complete novice. Um, but yeah, it was a bit daunting. But yeah, like you say, it's once you know the tool set and how to apply all the different stages as you, as you move through it, it's yeah it's 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 i'm saying simple but it, it is it's doing you just follow these steps and you will get that end result mm. yeah it's and it's the same cool. like the next the minute we're doing um uh, well working on a, a laptop yeah. and you know we finish the, the bottle off and you go okay so your your next next step is have a go at modeling a laptop like wow okay where, where do you begin with this but actually yeah. break it right down to what is it? You know, it's a flat square, another flat square, clone your keys. You know, it's the, the same kind the of process thing. that you're doing yeah. with a bottle, exactly the same tools. And you end up, you know, you start to like find a flow, you're like, ah, oh, that goes there, that goes there, that works like this. And it's it's, it's a pleasure, it's, it's it's really enjoyable, you know, it's fun as opposed to massively frustrating digging for the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's so true. And like, um, I don't know if you've got any advice for anyone. And let's say they they might see your work and be like, "Oh wow, like, I can't believe you created that!" Like after just like a few weeks. And uh, is there anything that maybe like shifted in in your head? Like I know, especially one big value of like coaching is like being able to like push you. Whether you're getting a coach in the gym um, mm -hmm. or uh, in any other area, it's like me being able to like push you and be like, "Hey, like." 
go and do this bottle makes you mm. actually go and at least attempt it as opposed to like not even trying it in the first place, you know, and then like it can help you with any areas that you struggle with. So that gives you a lot of comfort. But like if someone re doesn't really have that, is there any like uh, advice that you might give to someone um, that may want to like try and improve at a quicker rate like you did? I mean, this, 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 this course, I mean, I've, this course has been, has been really good for this, really good for this. Mm. I mean, like I, like I said, I'm out of effects all the time. And like, until I actually went and studied, I never got to a point of where I could be doing that as my profession, you know, yeah. and I'd be messing around, digging for stuff, not finding the solutions, not getting to a decent level quick, but with doing this course just lays out everything that you need to know. You know, it's like, it's not frustrating it's not you know looking for stuff that don't have the solutions um and yeah like you say you do push <laughs> it's, it's good it's like this course is when you get what you put you get out what you put in you know mm -hmm. if you just do like your your homework and just open it up and then we go back over how it's been done what needs to be fixed and sold that's okay but if you get it done quick send it across to yourself it's like that that bottle within the next next day you know you recorded a half an hour 45 minute breakdown of what i'm doing and it's not even due for the next call it's like i've already got my next steps here you know so it's been yeah really good for this really good and it does yeah. make you want to push harder you know because you know if not it's like man what you've been doing, what have you been doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's so important what you're saying is like you get out what you put in you know if you uh not really pushing yourself and you're just doing like little things here and there and like you see something online you're like oh that would be cool to create and then for like 30 minutes you're just playing around and you just discard the project it's like you won't really progress as much as where you're like okay like this is where i want to get to and every single day i'm going to work towards these things you know mm -hmm. um and i think that's like a huge thing that might separate someone from reaching their goals in like a short amount of time versus just kind of dabbling around for a few years so i think that's very important um yeah definitely yeah but yeah i mean like that's pretty much it i just wanted to uh kind of uh break down a bit of your process so people get a bit of a better understanding of like how someone like you might go from uh where you were to uh where you did get to um which i think is like really really professional work like studio level within uh just a few weeks which is really cool um i don't know if you have any last words any last uh, advice to anyone out there <laughs> who might be struggling like you did at the start um uh, or in in, I have to say, you invest in yourself. Like, if you want to do it seriously, like it's really worth doing the course. Like, it really is. Like, honestly, I I'll be pissing about for ages on YouTube and all sorts, and it's just a long-winded process. But like this is it's efficient. You learn the tools, the process, start to end. And once you got that, you just apply it to whatever whatever you whatever project you have. And it's not little bits here, little bits there. It's like start at the beginning finish at the end, you know, and that's what you need to know. Now go do it. You know, it's, mm. it's perfect. It really works. It worked for me anyway. I mean, there's most people that do stuff on, we're just learning on YouTube and, and this and that, and that might work for them. But for me, I need, I, I need the tool set laid out. I need to know yeah. what's the most efficient way to get from A to B. Without that, um, it's frustrating. But this <laughs> has been, yeah, this has been, this has been great. Yeah. And that's obviously we can start to just waste time. Um, but yeah, like, um, so you've created the, the bottle, which is really cool. And now we're like working on like a laptop advertisement, trying to get that to a good level. After that, like where uh, where would you like to go from here? Uh, I'd like to learn some of the like simulations, how to break apart a laptop, how to have, you know, that real nice, you know, keys that are like laying themselves down, laptops that open, spin, you know, th th these kind of things. Uh, that's where that's the next step that's what i want to learn, learn how to do next you know you see some of these adverts and they are so so slick you know mm -hmm. and it's like okay so now i know how to model it and how to put you know texture it and light it what's next is mm -hmm. let's let's get this stuff moving you know that's that's what i want to get into now <laughs> cool <laughs> we'll get you there sweet yes <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just want to say thanks for taking the time out for this. Um, I'm sure it's going to be very valuable to uh, at least one person out there. Um, I'm very inspired no, to other people, which is really cool. So uh, thanks for taking out the time. No, not at all. Absolute pleasure. Well, I'll see you on Thursday. Let's let's rip apart that laptop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> cool. Cool. Uh, yeah. Nice one. Thank you. <laughs>